Do you need a VO coach? Nope. Do you need a VO coach? Yep. Which one is it? That's for you to figure out. Well, thanks for pad load, Chad. Yeah, shut sure. up. But let's talk about that. See you on the other side of the break. Tin Hut! How you doing, everybody? Andrew Scott, and you are back at VO Bootcamp. This is probably one of the most, if not the most, frequently asked questions I get. And it's especially top of mind for people probably like you just beginning your VO journey or not even started yet and are exploring. And that is, do you need to work with a VO coach? Now, as I said in the opener, that sounds antithetical, the way I put it. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Fact is, that's accurate. Now, on one hand, there are many people that I know that are in the business that started out and didn't have a coach for years and achieved a decent amount of success. I mean, like, that's their full-time job now level of success. So, on one hand, of course, it is completely and utterly doable to get into VO without a coach. But really, asking the question, do I need to work with a VO coach, is actually the wrong question. The question to ask is, would I benefit from working with a VO coach? They're different questions. And really, you should be asking yourself the latter question, not the former. So before we talk about whether or not you would benefit from it, let's talk a little bit about what coaches do. First off, there are different kinds of voiceover coaches, just as there are different kinds of voiceover artists. Some of them concentrate on things like accents and character work. Some of them do things like, you know, will teach you production and or coach you in voiceover business. Some coaches really focus on acting. And of course, a lot of them focus on things like articulation, pronunciation, diction, and speech. So to think that coaches are just like this one-stop shop is an error in thinking. Most VO coaches have specialties. Now, they might be able to do a little bit here and there in other realms, but a good coach, generally speaking, will tell you when that's not their bag and you should find somebody else to work with as well. So they do a bunch of different things, but, well, some of the big things that people go to coaches for are things like articulation and pronunciation, like I just said, learning things like pacing and modulation. You know, how you get your voice to rise and fall in order to make it not be monotone. Inflections, which are little colors that are put into words that often indicate emotional states. But really, one of the most significant things that a coach helps you develop is a good muscle for interpreting copy. And that is getting a script and knowing intuitively to one degree or another how to emotionally color the words you're delivering and along with that comes inflection that's where that color does get into your words so you're conveying a sense of emotion that the author of the copy wants now on the business side of things working with a vo coach can be really helpful especially for people who are early on in their journey, because it can help you avoid common business pitfalls and especially help you avoid things like scams. So each coaching session is as different as the coach who's running it, but it's fair to say that they're based on the following model, and it's a three-point model. It's the check-in, the work or practice, and then the check-out which is also kind of a check-in part two. Checking in normally involves seeing how your day went, your business is going, how you are feeling about your voice and your voiceover business, 
and if you have anything to bring to the table during that session that you really want to have included. Then, of course, you get down to the work. Now, sometimes a voiceover coach will have a whole plan mapped out for you, but other times it might just be, what do you feel like as the client? What do you feel like working on today? What do you feel rusty about? What do you want to improve on or practice or practice with? It might be something that you got from a client that you are feeling unsure about and you want to run through with somebody. It might be a stumbling block that you've had in something that you've been working on that you just really can't seem to get past without tripping over. And sometimes it's something as simple as running a bunch of tongue twisters together. Now, after the work is done, a good coach will do a check-in with you again, what I refer to as the checkout, which is, what did you get from this session? What are your takeaways? How are you feeling about what we did? How are you feeling about how you performed doing it? It's as important for the coach to feel where you are with the process as it is for you to feel something from the process. So this also runs the gamut and anything from some person who just hung up their shingle all the way up to $200 an hour or more. It really depends. It depends on the coach. It depends on a number of factors, but there are really two primary tiers of coaching. There is beginning coaching and development, and then there is higher up coaching you know, people who are already working professionals. They normally charge anywhere from $125, $150, all the way up to about $200 an hour. And that's probably not where you are in your journey right now. And you, I mean, you're probably rolling your eyes and going, really? I can't afford that. I can barely afford my microphone. But the other kind of voiceover coach, in my opinion, many times is even more important. And that's a coach who specializes in new talent, in new voices. And as you would imagine, they're a lot cheaper. Uh, you can normally find voice over coaches who specialize in new talent, eh, $100 and less. Now, that brings us back to the question that I asked earlier. The difference between do I need a coach and should I be working with a coach? Now, as I said, no, you don't need one. There is plenty of resource available here on YouTube and elsewhere that's completely free and will definitely get you started and probably get you headed towards success. I'm not going to minimize the power of watching a good educator give you the information you need, but there's something inherently lacking in that kind of education. And that is the one-on-one -on -one relationship. And I really can't value this highly enough. And that's because the number one thing that a coach gives you is a different set of ears. That's a really big deal. You've probably heard me say it before in the past. But your ears lie to you all the time. Your brain lies to you all the time. Ever heard of imposter syndrome? Yeah, we all get it. We all suffer from it. And the way out of imposter syndrome is to check in with somebody else who's not you and say, does this really suck as bad as I think it does? It's immensely valuable. But another way coaches are really valuable, especially when you're just starting out, is to help you explore voiceover and to help you explore what you can do and where you might fit into this very big VO landscape. Again, when I first started out, I thought I was aiming myself at one particular niche in the VO world. And I was really wrong. And it took me a pretty decent amount of time to discover that. If I would have had somebody else checking me, if I would have had somebody else's opinion, if I would have had somebody else's experience viewing what I was doing and where I was aiming myself, I could have easily saved myself a year 
I would have been a year further forward in development because I spent a year trying to get into a niche in voiceover that didn't want me, no matter what I thought of it. I just wasn't getting the traction there. But I kept banging my head against the wall about it. It would have been really helpful to have somebody else come in and say, you know, try this. And you know what? That's exactly what happened. And to address that specifically, yes, I have a coach. Actually, I work with two coaches, and I've worked with numerous coaches over the last eight years. And as soon as I started working with a coach, my whole view of VO changed. Why? How? Because I only had my view of VO. I only had my view of the business and of my talent and of my skills. And getting somebody else to look over your shoulder or look you in the eye, man, that can really be an accelerator. That can really totally change the way you pursue voiceover. Not just your business, but your read and your technique and your skills. So, yeah. I work with coaches and I find it immensely valuable. And honestly, truth of the matter is, I personally feel that if I would not have worked with a coach, I wouldn't be where I am today. Would I be successful? Yeah, probably, but that might just be down to being a stubborn old man. But I don't think I would have developed the way I did. I don't think I would have found the inroads into certain niches that I now work regularly in. And I certainly don't think that I would be in a place where I would be able to help others. Frankly, I doubt that I'd be on YouTube if I wouldn't have worked with a coach. Do you need to work with a coach? No. Do you need to work with a coach? That's for you to decide. But in the next video, we're going to talk about how to find a VO coach to work with. But until next time, everybody, I'm Andrew Scott, and this is VO Bootcamp. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about... Well, I just made my mouth look stupid. Pulling teeth.